randomly, really randomly starting off this vlog. Also, don't mind how freaking dark my hands and my neck look because I did two layers of like different tan. It was the Latin Uber Dark, the purple one, and then I did a layer of the Bondi Sands One Hour Express Dark Mousse. Anyway, it was a mistake and my hair looks really weird at the moment. Anyway, I just did my nails. They look awful. We'll just leave them back here. Anyway, I just got, this is probably a dumb thing to be doing as well when I just did my nails, but I got a package from Princess Polly. Um, obviously ordered by myself um, and paid for by myself because who am I in this world? But do I have any scissors so I don't wreck my nails or do I just do it? I only got two things, um, but they were quite expensive anyway, so. Just try not to spend too much money. There's one. I'm trying not to get like nail polish everywhere. Okay, so the first thing I got was their classic crop top t-shirt in beige. They give me a 12. Or did I order this in a medium? I probably did. Yeah. So just a basic classic tee. I already stuffed up that nail. That's awesome. Can I press record? Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is what it looks like. You've probably seen it before. But I just needed basic stuff, like basic tops like this. I can wear this with my gym stuff, with just like plain jeans, like the jeans that you might have seen that I got from Princess Polly the last time I ordered from them. It would go so well. It's like the perfect length. I really hope it fits me properly. I fell in love with this. It's kind of like the style that I have on right now. This is from Factory, this one. Um, but yeah, I had to get a freaking another jumper even though we're coming out of winter, even though it's freaking the worst weather today. It is raining, it's supposed to storm. It was raining all last night. It's just been awful and it's really, really cold. Um, but this is gorgeous. This is... The New York jumper in grey and I love the green and the grey. I really hope this fits nicely. It looks like it will. It smells nice. <laughs> so this is what that one looks like there. And I freaking love it already. Uh, that's it. It's 3.52 and I've literally done nothing except for go to the grocery shop. The grocery store. The shopping. The supermarket. I'm literally going crazy. It's actually scaring me how dark my neck is at the moment. I literally was like watching myself put it on and I'm like, this is a mistake. Like you look orange and I do. So yeah, goodbye. Good morning guys. So I literally haven't even brushed my hair. I just chucked it up and got dressed kind of. I mean, in a jumper and leggings. I'm, at, I'm actually about to head to the shops because I saw that Coles had some Halloween decorations when I last went and I just didn't get any stupidly. So I'm gonna see if they have some more and I also have to go and get some more protein bars and things like that. So let's go. Hello, <laughs> we're in my car. It's been like not focusing properly so I've had to like redo this clip like five times and it's not even like an important clip. I'm just telling you that I'm leaving. Um, and I want to tell you where my stuff was from. Probably not like the best time, but my necklace here is from Ana Luisa Jewelry. Uh, it was gifted to me. Thank you very much, Ana Luisa. I wear this every single day without like fail besides when I'm tanning. So today I'm going to have to take it off so I can exfoliate and everything. But yeah, I don't want to damage it or anything. So I just take it off for like Wednesdays basically, like half of Wednesday. I'm actually going to try and tan during the day today because I'm not doing anything. I'm going to try and get back at a reasonable time so I can have a shower, exfoliate, shave my legs and then tan by hopefully lunchtime and wash it off by like seven or eight o'clock tonight just because i'm not a fan of sleeping in my tan at the moment like it's just disgusting this jumper is from princess polly i showed you guys this when i got it at the start of this video um which was like a random haul clip and then my leggings are just from kmart they're just plain black leggings bring my low top converse and just white socks because I can't be bothered um this claw clip by the way this massive one is from woolworths it was only six bucks um, so I just snatched that up because it seemed to be going quite quick And yeah, we're going to leave now because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm really cold and I'm not wearing enough layers um, I've got hair in my mouth But yeah, 
So I just posted it on my Instagram story. Ooh, just there. I mean, my hair was up and I have a different bag because I realized that I wasn't going to be able to fit anything in that bag. Um, but that's also from Princess Polly. It's just a little Peter and Jane or Jan shoulder bag with the cross on it. Hello. But yeah, okay. Let's go. She's back. So, um, wow. My face. Not having a good moment, is she? Just pale and pimply. This isn't going to help. <laughs> um, slightly healthy. Start off first. So I went to the health food shop. Got some more of this serious popcorn. But this one's a sweet and salty. I didn't have this one the last time I went or else I would have gotten this. Um, the one I've been having is the just original one, just sea salt. Um, which is good. But I love sweet and salty. So these are 57 calories per pack and they're pretty good size packs like you get heaps in there so i really recommend these if you can get them i'm pretty sure you can get this brand at iga but i just don't have an iga like local to me so i just get it from the health food shop and this is 7.20 for a bag of 10 and then i had to get more flavors of the smart protein bar the health food shop that um i'm that's in my local shopping center is the only place that i can get these that's not online so i got the apple pie flavor and I've been putting these in the air fryer like everyone has been. And this one's only 166 calories. And then this one is cinnamon donut, which I've had before, but only raw. So I'm excited to try this in the air fryer. This one's 164 calories. Now, on to the super exciting bit, the Halloween bits. This is like my favorite time of year and it's so short-winded and not like advertised enough and not like promoted enough in Australia and it's just like really sad and I just love it so I just kind of make my room Halloween-y for the month of October um and then I'm lucky enough that one of the girls at work is actually obsessed with Halloween too so yeah we I got two headbands for us to wear because we're actually working Halloween day um so I got these two little um i think they're like one's a bat and one's a spider so they're really cute um these were five dollars each bit pricey for what they are but still cute nonetheless and then i got this this was three dollars it's like a hanging spider web that i'm thinking of putting up here where is it where this thing is so that will be cute hopefully i'm going to like put everything up when I get out of the shower it has like a little spider on it so it's like a little spider web and this was three dollars as well this is just the Coles range like Coles actually came through this year because I can't get it anywhere else another decoration thing I got with these Halloween string light packs so I already have like little pumpkin candle like tea lights that I'm going to put on um this table so this is a before of the table so it's just quite quite plain it just has my like DVD player and stuff on it um but yeah I love turning this space like this this is like the table that I've been turning Halloweeny <laughs> for um years like three years now or two years now I don't know but it's so like exciting I just love changing things up and having like a holiday theme so for snacks to put in my little spiderweb bowl that's gonna sit on this um table as well I, it was really hard to find this year because the reject shop didn't have like an assort they usually have like these big bags of assorted like american candy and they didn't have that this year so i didn't get anything from there coles literally had everything so they came out with these freddo frogs um but they have like green slime in them and it's a fruit flavored jelly center i don't know how good these would be but they fit with the aesthetic, so they're green and like they look Halloweeny. So got those. I got a basic thing of um, just like your normal Cadbury treats. So it has Cherry Ripe, Boost, Crunchy, and Turkish Delight. Oh, also from the health food shop, I got this peanut butter. This is so expensive, but it's so good. I decided to try the cookie dough flavor this time. I got the Snickerdoodle one last time which has been good but like i don't know if they're going to taste any different so you just add water to these but this was 1580 
Um, but it's really good. I'm trying to use it sparingly and not like heaps and every day. So I like last a long time. But it's really hard not to just put this on my oats every morning. Because it's so good and so low in calories. So, yep. <laughs> and then the last thing I got were these Rotten Zombie Skittles. And these are good because they come in little like, oh, <laughs> little like packs. So you've got Lurking Lemon, Ghostly Grape, Rotten Zombie, Spooky Strawberry and Grim Green Apple. So I thought they were cool just because I know they're going to taste like pretty much the same as normal Skittles. Um, but I like the colours. They're very Halloween. So I'm so excited to do this little bit up. It's going to be like my little thing of today. I was thinking with the lights as well, I could like hang them from where the spiderweb thing's going to be. Onto that hook up there. I don't know if you can see any of this. But there's like a hook above the mirror. Um, that's not being used for anything, so I thought I could somehow try to make it shut up Try to make this work. If not, it's okay. I'll like maybe put it around my mirror or around my TV But I'm so excited Okay, I'm going to put all this stuff away um, And go have a shower scrub off my gross tan. I Weirdly decided, oh, like last week, to put on two layers of tan, of different tan, and it's gone disgusting, so I can't wait to get this off. Um, probably won't show my face <laughs> after this clip. Maybe I will. Uh, because I'm just going to be pale. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm just going to do like a face mask today and like just chill out. I've been go, go, go for the longest time and I just need to take a break, so... Haven't even had breakfast or a coffee yet, but I'm going to do that after my shower. So, yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, I just tanned. <laughs> um, look at my face. I just wanted to give my face a bit of a break because I just did a face mask and stuff. So I might just tan my face um, a bit later on because it doesn't really need to stay on for as long as like my body does. Um, I am looking so nice right now. Look at this outfit. <laughs> I got out the rest of my, like the bag of my other um halloween stuff and we are going to arrange this little bit but yeah okay let's get this started so this is the before okay <laughs> already stuffed up something this was meant to hang on the um wall over there <laughs> and i broke off the um little string thing that it was meant to hang off so this is just going to be the base for the bowl and it's just going to stay like that what a doofus oh my god okay Okay, kind of sad. It doesn't look that great right now, but I feel like everything always looks better at night. So hopefully with like all the um, lights on and everything, it looks okay. But this is the best I could do. I decided not to put anything up here just because it would have been quite like annoying. And this can just rest like over here. It's the batteries for the lights. Um, but yeah, and then I put like some of the lollies. This lights up by the way. And I'm pretty sure the book does as well. And then you've got like these little lantern things. And then the little pumpkin lights, which I'm so excited to see how they look. So I'll update you guys when it is nighttime. And then I've got to find some place for all of this crap. <laughs> Good morning. It is, well, <laughs> it is now the next day. It is such a beautiful day outside. Yesterday was so rainy and gloomy. And now it's like sunny and just like nice and of course I'm working um, but it wouldn't have made a difference anyway because I couldn't have gone anyway yesterday uh, I forgot to show you guys what the Halloween lights look like on yesterday they look so cute I am gonna go make my breakfast now um, and yeah I'm starving so need my coffee need breakfast just can't be bothered with work today gotta do what you gotta do do you love my post shower outfit isn't it just stunning i love these track pants so i love the color they're so cute anyways i will catch you guys a bit later bye hello you guys excuse how awful i look i know so pale it's a wednesday i'm about to go and scrub off my tan wash my hair and everything to get ready to tan tonight Anyway, I know I haven't shown you guys my Halloween setup like at night, like with all the lights on, um, but I will do that tonight. I just keep forgetting, uh, even though it's probably not that big of a deal and no one really cares. But today I went to the shops, did some damage, 
how do I do damage at Chemist Warehouse, The Reject Shop and Coles? I don't know. Um, from Coles, all I got was just stuff for my dinner tonight. I'm making like a healthier version of satay chicken and rice. So yeah, I'm a bit out of breath because I just ran upstairs. <laughs> Anyways, I thought I would show you the socks that I got from my work. Sorry, I've, I've been wearing them like every day. <laughs> um, these are Halloween socks. They just have like witches and stuff on them. So comfy. And I just had to get them. <laughs> Uh, and I also got this skull cup from Woolworths. I've been drinking my water out of it like every day. So, so much fun. And then I'll start with the reject shop then because the next thing I got, I was like, no more Halloween stuff because I already bought heat. Where is it? So the reject shop. They just came out with like all their Halloween stuff. Um, and I keep having to remind myself it's only like the start of October, like now. So everyone's getting their stuff now. This is a light up little pumpkin. I don't know where I'm going to put him yet. Um, maybe in front of like the haunted house on the table that you're sitting on. Um, but I'll end up showing you tonight anyway. And I'll have to put a battery in him. So what battery does it take? Alkaline batteries included. Oh. Oh, you have to pull the tab. <gasps> Stop it. How cute is that? Oh, you can't see. I'll show you tonight when you can see. Um, oh my God, I love that it comes with batteries already. That's amazing. Okay, next thing I got, these are little mason jars. Um, I really wanted ones with the lids on, but like a better size because the one that I bought from the reject shop previously is for my oats and it's like quite a big jar. I think it's like maybe like this much bigger. Um, but these are for if I'm like staying at my boyfriend's house and I want oats, um, I'll just like pre-make them the night before and then bring them to his house and heat them up. And these are like the perfect way to store like oats or you can eat them cold or whatever. Like it's up to you. This is only $8 for a six pack and I think it's pretty good value for money. I didn't really have that many options either to go and buy mason jars. So I was really happy that they have them. The next thing is a bit random. This is a hair wrap. So this is for like <laughs> drying your hair. Um, this is good for me because I like to tan sometimes when I have like wet hair and having this will like make it stay up. And in our, um, oh my God, amazing. In our reject shop, they've actually started stocking stuff from Tesco, which is an English, um, supermarket like our Coles and Woolworths and stuff we've got Tesco um and I got the Bourbon creams and my boyfriend is British um and I'm excited to surprise him with these because they're like a little throwback for him um they're only 68 calories per little cream so that's amazing um in the radio shop sometimes they have stuff that expires quite quickly like this expires in december so i just sort of get them and try and it's like a little nice snack with your tea or hot chocolate or something and then i also just got boring toothbrushes these actually come with like a toothbrush holder thing like a cap for them i was like okay and it was five bucks and normally they're like 10 bucks so amazing then i went to chemist warehouse and i got this neutral life gut relief with prebiotics i also got the byron epsom salts these are the detox ones um i love epsom salts i'm gonna put some in my bath today they just really help with my muscles because i get really strained muscles so yeah and they just help you relax and you know this one will help me detox this is infused with mandarin lemon and grapefruit oils they're only eight bucks for 500 grams and then last but not least i got barley body so this is like new to Chemist Warehouse, I'm pretty sure, at least where I live. Um, and this is the self-tanning mousse in Ultra Dark. I've heard great things about Barley Body, so I'm really excited to try this. I'm actually going to use this today. So I'll keep you guys updated and in the loop. That's it for my haul. I will try and remember to show you guys the Halloween setup that I have later tonight. Catch you guys later. Hello again, guys. Looking slightly less put together than before if that was even possible but i've showered it's actually so much later in the day now i've just been waiting for my hair to um air dry rather than me putting heat on it but i'll probably end up drying the rest of it a bit later anyway exciting parcel i got my goodness me box so we're gonna unbox it i think i missed last month's um 
just because I never got around to filming it. But oh my god, I sneak peeked in this. Is that a saying? I peeked it. Took a sneak peek already in this box. So I was just so excited. It was so heavy when I got it. I was like, what the heck is in here? So I had to open. And oh my god, I got lucky this month. So this month is... I think it's a conscious box. First thing that I saw were these Munch Me Roasted Almonds. And this also was odd. Um, this isn't a food product. It is the reusable Appy Wraps Beeswax Kitchen Wraps. So let's open this and see what it's about. Sorry, that's what it looks like there. Oh, these are for food storage and stuff. Okay. Oh my god, they feel really odd. Oh my god, yeah, okay, they made beeswax. I was gonna say, it feels waxy. Okay. Reusable kitchen wraps. That's what it looks like there. So I'm just gonna fold that. It's like, it feels quite sticky, obviously. <laughs> the next thing I see is this seed lip distilled non alcoholic spirit. Um, it is lemongrass tonic and grove 42. When I first saw this, I was like, oh my god, is it alcoholic? But no. So, um, this is only 21 calories. It is what to drink when you're not drinking, which is good because it looks like an alcoholic, an alcoholic beverage. Um, but it is not. So, it is a sophisticated warm citrus blend using three varieties of Mediterranean orange, lemon peel, ginger, and lemongrass distillates. Distillates? Anyways, that's what it looks like there. It's a really nice packaging. Then we've got this Prana On Plant Protein Bar in Chock Fudge Brownie. I've actually got one of these downstairs in my pantry that I haven't eaten yet. And I think it might be the chocolate flavor, but I'm not too sure. But these ones are vegan. They have digestive enzymes and probiotics. They're gluten-free and Australian owned. Then we've got this More, like it's like triple M, More. Uh, Choco Power Cube. Um, it's a raw treat. We've got heaps of full size stuff in here. I'm actually quite impressed. You definitely get like your money's worth. Um, next up, we have a chocolate bar. So, this is the Loving Earth Almond Crunch. It is crunchy roasted almond pieces in cashew milk with a Y <laughs> chocolate. That's what it looks like. This is a full size block. These can get quite expensive, so I'm really happy to have this. Then we've got this massive thing of oat milk. It's literally just like a normal size carton. Maybe a little. Oh, it's a, it's a liter. So I've actually heard quite good things about oat milk, and I will definitely try this. My battery's running out. Awesome. Um, I also got this organic India conscious living. I think it's a tea bag. Oh, it's two tea bags. So we've got stress relieving and boost immunity and then we've got um this turmeric ginger and they're both i think caffeine free and then oh my god this really excited me the naked heart the naked the naked harvest thrive plant protein in chocolate swirl i'm actually running out of my protein powder so anything that i can get with protein um is really good so i'm very excited to try this i've heard really good things about naked harvest but all the ones I wanted to try on the website were sold out. So I'm excited to try that. And then the last thing which I'm a bit iffy about um, is this organic Thai jackfruit. So this is that there. You've probably seen jackfruit. It's quite similar consistency to pulled pork. So that's everything I got in this month's box. Um, unfortunately, this is the last box I will be receiving um, because I only got a three month subscription. So yeah, if you guys want to see more of this, let me know. I'm not sponsored or anything, obviously, but yeah, it's really, really fun stuff. So I'll catch you guys later. Okay, you guys, this is what everything looks like. So my LED lights are actually changed to orange. They look a bit more red on camera. Um, but then you go over to the little table and this is everything. So on like a normal night, I won't have like the two light up flashing ones on um i'll just have the orange pumpkin ones on and then so i see the book lights up like that happy halloween oh my god i can't wait to do this to my whole house one day and then we go to my bedside table and that's where mr pumpkin's living but that's that okay i'm actually gonna end the vlog here it's been such a long vlog i hope i've cut it down to like a good amount of time it's probably just gonna be 
ridiculously long. I didn't realize I filmed so much. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm doing a exciting video, a food video actually later this week. Hopefully it'll be up soon. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like a throwback to one of my old videos and I'm super excited. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video, hopefully. Mwah.